P.O. Box time. It's time to do another P.O. Box stuff opening. Stuff keeps arriving. <laughs> we have here a... Uh, it gets intimidating at some point how much stuff keeps arriving, right? Yes. We have a Is any of it addressed to you this time? No. Oh. It's, all, it's all you. Oh. It's all you all the time. I see. So... This person misspelled my name. <laughs> yes, it's... But uh, I got here anyway, I guess. Kaith. Yeah. Kaith. I haven't dealt with a life a lot of time with that. You had a story. Oh, right. Uh, that you were saving for, for when we started recording. Yeah, so I went to go pick up the stuff at the P.O. Box, as I do. And uh, while I was doing that, I, you know, they, I opened it up. It had the two slips in it. I was like, okay, great. I'm going to go get the stuff now. And... Um, and when I when the guy went and got the stuff, he was like, "Okay, well, you know, they do the thing, check ID to make sure it's you." It's like, "Okay, well, is there anybody else?" I was like, "Yes, yes, Keith is the person that's also on the the PO box." He's like, "And who's that person?" I was like, "That's the other person on the PO box." He's like, it's, "It's a joint PO box that we have." He's like, "Okay, well, just make sure because all these packages are for him." I was like, "Okay, <laughs> thanks." Thanks, man. Because <laughs> like, none of them are for yeah. you, and you're getting the mail. Yeah. And I was like, like, are you are you sure you're allowed to have these? Yeah, are, you, are, are these actually yours? <laughs> I was like, thanks. You don't have to remind me. Like, <laughs> look, dude, I, I got a dildo last week. It's fine. It reminds me of the kind of concern I had when I tripped the alarm at my mom's house when I was taking care of their pets, and like cops showed up, <laughs> and I just hid inside the house and didn't come out. What? Yeah. They like knocked on the door at one point, and then they're trying to they're trying to peek into the windows, but they didn't see me because they couldn't see through any of the windows. They're all closed, like the blinds are drawn for everything. So I just politely, silently waited for them to completely leave because I didn't even want to deal with the explanation of like how no, I don't live here, but I'm supposed to. No, it's it's fine. I just tripped the alarm because alarms suck. <laughs> and you try to type the thing in, you're like, oh shit, I pressed the slightly wrong button. How do I reset it? And you're like, I wasn't trained for this. Yeah, <laughs> I. I ran into that problem, but the opposite, where I did live somewhere and they just didn't believe me. And I'm just like, like they have guns, and I don't want to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more it's more humorous when we'll you're see. a child because they try to uh, they try to in, they're like very more confident when it's oh, oh this is a branding sticker. Cool. <laughs> you afraid of it? What's gonna happen? I don't know. What's it called? Red bubble. Red bubble. Red bubble. So I like thought a it was a porn site at first. Red bubble sticker came inside of it. I think that's just always there. What? It's got Am dead I... pandas on it, which is an odd thing. Uh, I'm to trying to see if I can guess what this is from the outside, and it's very hard because <laughs> it's just like a black smear. I'm gonna guess. I'm guessing that's the bottom of someone's torso. I think it's a character. Yeah. I would guess Bloodborne is my first guess. What are you? What are you gonna guess for what the dark figure is in this thing? I'm gonna guess it's uh, Star Wars related. Oh boy. Or what if it's like super high, like horribly ironic and it's like fucking uh shadow the hedgehog no <laughs> uh was it uh why so serious <laughs> oh god <laughs> like just like full-on like decade ago hot topic poster <laughs> with the fucking why so serious that's the the joker smearing a smiley through the, the foggy glass or whatever yeah. the hell he's on behind and it's like a blurry ass photo uh, picture yeah. it's actually surprisingly hard to extract from the tube why don't you just rip the plastic around from it? I'm an I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur <laughs> that has nothing to do with poster. Uh... There we go. See, it's fine. Everything's fine. It, it, there's multiple posters. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna extract the smaller one real quick. You fuck. Why would they send me a, a, a Borderlands poster? <laughs> of Mario. That's odd. It's like someone wanted to make me upset by combining something I hate with something I love. <laughs> yeah, it's like your favorite <laughs> like, thing crossed with the thing you hate. Yeah. Well, Keith Ballard, renowned Borderlands fan. I mean, you did play a lot of it. I played 20 episodes of it, which is all it lasts. And you just burn through real quick. We did the whole game and all the expansions in only like 20 minute episodes. That's pretty good. Well, all the expansions except Mad Moxie, which would have taken another 40 episodes. Because Mad Moxie is bullshit. It's just an arena mode that takes an ungodly amount of time. Okay. And it's just there to waste your time. Huh. So a... Yeah, a parody poster about a franchise I suck at and a franchise that I, uh, that I refer to on a regular basis as an in the negative light when I talk about Skinner Boxes. 
I'm just like, yeah, you know, like Borderlands, where they took a thing that could be fun, like shooters, and ruin it with numbers. <laughs> what is this one? Am I right? Oh shit! I can see from here it's Wolfman from uh, Dark from Dark uh, Darkwood. I have to hold this correctly. Is that the right way? Oh, yeah. it's Wolfman from Darkwood. This is actually a good one. I'll believe you. Yeah, it's very hard to see. This is this is the Wolfman in the hood. I guess, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a guy wearing something. Oddly enough, it's almost easier to see from the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see the wolf a little bit clearer. <laughs> yeah, this is, he's the cool, uh, I didn't know there was a poster for that. I oh. mean, it's Redbubble's, uh, it's indie artist. I was not, so it's like people, it's, uh, it's not like a company poster. I was not going to guess that. <laughs> Although yeah. Bloodborne weirdly is kind of close, because it's full of, like, wolfmen people and hunters and everything. And very similar in tone to Darkwood. You should play Darkwood. I Probably. You might like it. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, he's he's just one of those, like, really... You're not sure what you're dealing with. Like, how, like is this, like, the bad guy or the good guy? I don't know. He's the first guy I met. And he yeah. technically helped me, but, like, do I want to reciprocate? But it's a, it's a cool design. So what we got next? It's better than Borderlands. <laughs> we have tape. Well, thank we you anyways of, for the poster. Tape. Thank you for Darkwood. And also the poster that I will... Begrudgingly hang. I don't know. <laughs> display ironically. <laughs> It's funny because I'm uh, I'm the sh the shameful owner of a. You want to give me the knife? It's like I, this. I'm, I could slowly peel all three of these off, but it's gonna take a while. You have like a box cutter. Uh, was it? I I I'm the shameful owner of a Mario Scarface parody shirt. Remember that one? Yes. It's like it's the Scarface cover, but it's Mario. And at some point, I I grew some level of dignity and stopped stopped keeping it around. That's a. I think I think Mario's the most remixed thing, right? I think I'm I think Mario's like the go to like this is gonna be a shirt where it's it's Mario crossed with a thing. Yeah, I mean he's he's like one of the most iconic characters in video at, games. I think I was at so. Target like this week and saw another one basically. Well now that uh Awad is gone, all the board of directors are probably pushing real hard for merchandise for Mario. We need to make infinite money. Yeah, basically. This is required. So for some reason, Nintendo isn't satisfied with their IP being, like, beloved and cherished. They want to, like, run it into the ground, which is an odd thing to say. What's gonna happen? Who knows? Tune in next time on Dragon Ball Z. Tune in next time. These might be mugs? Mugs? Yeah, there's two separate things that are mug-sized. It might be statues. It might be. Nope, other they're mug mugs. Oh, they're mugs. <laughs> more... more Stickers. Wow, that's it's a like lot loot boxes. They just want to throw their branding everywhere. I'm afraid that is I'm, a very odd contraption I very, for uh, I have mugs. to very carefully open this so it doesn't come flying out. <laughs> well, you got two of them, so you're safe. How about a nice warm cup of get good? Hmm. You have something to finally drink while we're playing <laughs> Dark Souls. <laughs> this one's for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think they both probably say that. It might, if, if they do, then that one's definitely for you. <laughs> for your old coffee you can't drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they both say it. Do they both say the same thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. Then that one's for you. <laughs> Great. And I expect you to drink it before every future Dark Souls session. Let I will. go back to Demon's Souls. Because I've been playing Demon's Souls, and I just turned it into offline mode, and it's been working, and I was able to resolve the problems we were encountering. Oh really? Yeah. So I think that's all it took was just to be playing in offline mode, because all the huh. all the audio problems and stuff just went away. We got we got matching cups to get good. <laughs> we got matching cups to get good. <laughs> so is that coming black or is that green? <laughs> I think they're. In, uh... Is it supposed to be black and red? It looks almost like green, doesn't it? It is like that odd shade of black that's like slightly light enough that almost like green's linking in because of how ink works. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably supposed to be black. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. Sounds like somebody wants uh, a, a season two of Cuphead with on the harder difficulty and co-op. Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah. That's okay. <laughs> I'm good off that. And then... It's just fun to tease you with the idea. I will now open a letter with a screwdriver. <laughs> you hear that, Mom? I made it. I'm opening letters it. with a screwdriver. Yeah, I'm an adult. That's hey, it's you it works just like me. a letter opener. I, it does. It's just, it's just you need just need any like sort of firm stick, basically. <laughs> That's really all it takes. Here we go. 
That is like the most it's tiniest a, writing I've ever seen. It is a it's a very long letter. How do you even how do you even write like that? Do you is it a machine? Do you have like a robot that's, arm? It's really not small. Look at that. That is super <laughs> it's tiny. It's not small writing. You're you're a lunatic. <laughs> I'm not a lunatic. That's like really tiny writing. Hi Keith, like many others, I found your channel while looking for a let's play of The Witness. And after watching the first episode of your playthrough, I was hooked. You have a beautiful calming voice and I love listening to you. This is the exact opposite sentiment that I got during my Yosemite trip where people, my, my entire family was making fun of my monotone. And then I came back from my trip to have a comment complaining about my monotone. And I'm like, no! <laughs> that means your family watches your YouTube channel. <laughs> and you just outed one of them. I live in Germany, so it's evening or nighttime here when you upload your videos, which is perfect for a night owl like me. You make me smile oh, when every you day. Upload your videos. What's that? I thought, she, I thought she was saying when when you read them, and I was when you read oh, this letter, no. and I was like, ah, uh, <laughs> it's technically. So you make me smile every day. I'm dealing with a lot of problems at the moment, and it's great to have some things that make me forget about uh, stress and worries. Music helps a lot with that, and your videos do too. Meeting is pretty much my biggest wish right now, but I know that it'll likely stay unfulfilled. You could uh, you come across as a very intelligent and pleasant person. Your videos, uh, having trouble reading there. That yeah. tiny print. You can do it. I think this is a weird tale. They wrote the word R, but it looks like cure. Because, like, the A is, like, although the tail's big enough to look like a U. Uh. So, it's like, your videos cure a highlight every... Wait. <laughs> your videos are a highlight every day. But enough fangirling for now. I wish you the best luck and a very happy new year, 2018. Lots of love and, love and hugs. It took a while to come back. Moondoll. What? Wait, when do, when was it, it took say? a while? I don't know. There's, I don't think there's going to be a date Where's anywhere. The yeah, the, remember the postage says... Oh, do they put dates on these things? I believe so. No. When's it? When was it stamped? Stamp should have a date on it. Not say December twentieth. December twentieth is what yeah, the stamp says. I think so. Wow, that's pretty. That's weird. It didn't. It wasn't there when I checked the PO box for. Uh, probably just took a while to arrive. Spooky. From Germany or von Deutschland. What's the other thing? What? Isn't there two that's the that's uh, they want an autograph, so it's a return address. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna sit here with a sharpie and try to figure out how to sign my name in any autography sort of way because I don't have a made up signature. Did they, did they give you something to sign on? I think they just want me to sign. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, it's just an envelope with a return fine. address. Is that all they sent? Maybe I'll send them a signed copy of mine. <laughs> 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 just. A <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fit in the envelope, Keith. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I just, I just don't feel like it fit. But uh, we done it. We didn't done, done it. We done it. We did another, another uh, opening of PO Box stuff. So yeah. and you got good. I got so good. now we're all set. You fixed the channel, <laughs> saved it. Good job. We're thank all you. done now. And now there's no more bitter Andrew videos. <laughs> you fixed them forever. I will drink my get good. He's now gotten good forever. But yeah, so for those of you who wish to send us things, <laughs> you can do so on the screen, which is displaying an address or not. I don't know. Keith is the one editing, so he may just make me a liar. But uh, until now, okay, or not? That's great. No, I don't. It's gonna show something completely different. I don't know. <laughs> just a link. To your I can't Patreon. say. I shouldn't say too much about what I'm gonna edit in because I'm just gonna forget to check that part and forget what I said about editing it in. And I'll pull out, it'll be like those Game Grumps moments where they're like, yeah, Barry, do the thing. Or no, they'd be like, Kevin, do the thing. And then nothing happens. <laughs> like, oof. Hope no one, hope no, hundreds of thousands of people didn't see that gaff. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't work there anymore. See you guys next time. Goodbye.